Thank you so much for tuning back in Bad News Live, taking a look at downtown Fargo. Still some quieter conditions for most of us with our temperatures on the warmer side, still sitting at 27 degrees. Feels like 17 with that windshield temperature with our winds out of the south southwest at 11 miles an hour. And even up in Grand Forks, their winds are at 7 miles, but feels like 22 for those folks up there. And some breezier winds behind that weak front that's already pushing through the valley. It's already gone through Minot. It is currently going through the Devil's Lake Bay and near Langdon areas. You can see gusts up to 28 in Langdon right now, 28 in Minot, but relatively calmer for the rest of us. Unlike a breezier day we had earlier today with temperatures still on the warmer side for most of us, although the cold front that's sweeping through, we're not expecting it to be too much of a temperature change, but still something that is going to bring some precipitation. But for temperatures, we have areas like Oaks and Aberdeen still being the cold spot for the region, sitting at 18 and 19 degrees, whereas other areas near central part of Minnesota, Bemidji and Park Rapids sitting at 26 and 22 degrees. Now, like I said, most of us are having those clear skies, but I want to zoom in here. This is where we've been having those snow showers over the last few hours. Now it's continuing to push to the west, but it's very slow moving and it is still producing some visibility issues. Now, right now we have the thicker band just passing just to the north of Devil's Lake going through Langdon, but we're also starting to get some outer bands just near that Grand Forks and Grafton area. But over the next couple hours, we're going to continue to see that snow and push to the north just just to the north of Highway 2 and just by 1 a.m. It's already in northwestern part of Minnesota and by tomorrow for your morning commute. We won't have to deal with any of that extra snow band. There is still that possibility for a few flurries, but otherwise your morning temperatures are still going to be in those 20s and we're not going to warm up too much by tomorrow around lunchtime. Already seeing a few 30s in the Southern Valley, but the main story for tomorrow are going to be some breezier winds that are arriving and lingering after that cold front overnight tonight and by tomorrow evening. We do have another chance for some lingering snow showers in Roseau and Lake of the Woods County. However, like for tonight, we're not expecting a lot of accumulation just up to a light dusting, but that's already going to be gone as well just by the nine o'clock hour on Tuesday. But after tonight, we're still going to have a few chances of some more lingering showers on Friday and even getting into your Sunday afternoon planner. But I have some good news. The Red River of Fargo is now just below that red of that flood warning watch that we had as well for the valley, but we do still have, like I said, that chance for precipitation this weekend. However, we are not expecting it to cause another flood warning for the area. But after that precip we're seeing this weekend, we're still going to have temperatures slowly decrease into those single digits. So, Justin, it's finally starting to seem like that winter we've been talking about is finally going to arrive. We knew we wouldn't get through the whole winter without seeing these types of temperatures. I agree, yes. All right, thanks, Sean.